This week on the show, we've got country music star Kevin Chase and jazzy singer-songwriter Tracy Anderson. You'll be glad you tuned in. This is Jared and the Storytellers. Show. My name is Jared Lutz. Uh, I'll be your host for the evening, and hopefully I'll get to do one of my songs a little bit later. But uh, before we get started, I want to uh, do a shout out to this, uh, our wonderful host here at the Coco in Riverview. This is a fantastic room. It looks fantastic. It sounds great. And we're really, really glad that uh, we arranged something and got to perform here tonight. Uh, well, my first guest, he is a country legend in these parts. Uh, he's appeared on national te television, reached number one on the music charts, earned several award nominations. He's been featured on compilations with megastars, and he was the first Western artist to tour in mainland China. Welcome, Kevin Chase. Legend. Yeah. That just kind of makes me old, doesn't it? <laughs> in a good way. I'm not sure about that one. I would have said more, but I ran out of breath, man. You've got a, you've got a lot on your resume. Yeah, I've been at it for quite a few years, yeah. so uh, I've uh, done a lot of great things over the past years, yeah, for sure. So why don't you kick us off? Tell us about your song and yeah, well this uh, this song uh, is actually quite fresh. It's I just wrote it uh, probably three months ago. Um, it's um, actually inspired my by my baby girl that I just had last week. So uh, um, I wrote this song uh, during the preg pregnancy and uh, just wrote a song. You know when you're when when you're going to have a little girl or have have a child in general, it really got me to thinking and. Uh, uh, thinking a lot <laughs> actually yeah. and uh just kind of reflect on things in life and um you know and uh, in your own life and one of the things i uh you know was thinking about was you know the values that i wanted to install in in, in my little girl and uh of course you know love and respect uh, but uh, you know one of the big thing is is believing in in herself or believing in yourself and i got to thinking that uh you know, if how can I, how can I install those values if I can't practice what I preach? So, I wrote the song, you know, for myself and to to do a better job, uh, believing in myself and and being a better person. So, um, this is a song called uh, "Hey There, It's Nice to Meet You." Been a long time. Feels like eternity Since I feel like the man The man that I want to be Yeah, I have my issues But I've got my mindset Of the man they seen You haven't seen the best yet I've been waiting here all my life I guess it was all in due time This time I'll get it right Hey there, it's nice to meet you You wouldn't believe what I've been through I let my life get me down And now I'm ready for another round Hey there, it's nice to meet you Start with a great big smile, take down my guard I should have shown the whole world who I am right from the start With the wind at my back, I'm moving on full steam I'm gonna give you my best, the best you've ever seen All the people across this land If you're willing, take my hand well, Hey there, it's nice to meet you You wouldn't believe what I've been through I let my life get me down And now I'm ready for another round Hey there, it's nice to meet you
Hey there, it's nice to meet you. You wouldn't believe what I've been through. I live my life getting it down. Now I'm ready for another round. Hey there, it's nice to meet you. Hey there, it's nice to meet you. And kids get, they give you a lot to write about, eh? Yeah, kids. yeah for sure. So our next performer hails from the rural heart of New Brunswick and blends her old-time country roots with the jazz flavor she picked up while performing in Toronto and China. An accomplished performer and teacher herself, Tracy and her band have released two albums to date and are currently working on a salute to 1930s jazz. Welcome, Tracy Anderson. Thank you very much and for having Sister us. And Sister Amy. Yes. So uh, what do you guys got? We're going to play uh, a new song. I guess, that hasn't been recorded yet. It was written um, in the fall of 2013, and it's called Your Memory is a Song. And I guess you could say it is a quirky kind of breakup song. Great. Those are the best kind. <laughs> you've been gone I haven't seen your face in oh so long tell me where did I go wrong your memory is a song if you stopped by I would bend your ear whisper sweet nothings I would pull you near instead I'm moving along your memory is a song Fantastic, beautiful. Thank you. And that's on an upcoming record? Yeah, say? I'm hoping I'm going to have a new album out uh, in the spring of 2016. Cool. Cool. This is something that uh, I struggle with every time I release an album uh, myself. It, it, as you know, the, the, the music business has, uh, has uh, changed so much in the last 10 or 20 years. And I'm wondering about um, your decision to print physical CDs versus just staying digital or doing both, the pros and cons. Do you still make CDs and why? Are they, are they worth it? Yeah, I still, I still have CDs pressed. Um, I do think we're in a transitional phase right now. Um, and I do think CDs are on their way out. So I think uh, most artists now, they have to have both until we've completely transitioned over. For the time being, yeah. 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 I find... Uh, I don't know about you, Kevin, but I find when I have CDs, they're more like a souvenir to give away after, after a show, like an experience someone can take home with them. And some people don't even like to unwrap the CDs. They're, no, no, just leave it the way it is and 
they want to collect them. Do you have that kind of experience with CDs? Yeah, Do you I, still make I, agree, them? I agree with Tracy. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely, right now, it's, I think it's still something that you have to do. Um, the future is definitely digital, and it, it is going to go that way. But uh, I think it's for several reasons that's happening. I mean, even myself, I'm, I'm a songwriter, but I record other people's songs as well. And you're, you're dealing with more than just manufacturing CDs. You're dealing with uh, mechanical rights that you have to pay out. And when you're only selling a few CDs, it, that's really, you really have to look at it and say, look, I mean, that's a lot of money to put out for just a, a few CDs that you're going to sell off a stage. Yeah. You know, unless you have a major label that's backing you, it's, it's, it is very difficult. I, I I know even when I started like you know ten or fifteen years ago I'd make a thousand CDs and some of those CDs are still sitting in our basement oh, yeah. you know I've got a nice big box you know? in my closet yeah, so do I <laughs> so now we 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 try to make a hundred or two hundred or three hundred at a time and you know if those sell we can make we can make more mm -hmm. one thing yeah. I'm really interested in is in the resurgence of vinyl vinyl records yeah yeah I'd like to be able to press some of those for my next record. It's, be it's becoming more affordable too to yeah. to do those, yeah, and, and it's back in. If you get a good record player, like an original record player, yeah. So, Kevin, uh, what are you up to these days? Where are you playing, and what are you working on now for music? Well, I just, uh, I just, well, I shouldn't say I just finished recording a, a record. I did it a few months ago, uh, but it just recently got uh, released in Europe and Asia. Um, still pending here in North America, but uh, it is out across the rest of the world, and um, there's a single along, out along with that, and it's doing very well, so I'm very happy about that. But uh, just uh, anxious to, there are some things happening here, just things that I can't really uh, say right now, but uh, hopefully these things will pull through and we'll see the new stuff out very soon. Cool. Can you play a new tune from the new record? Uh, I can play you an old tune from an old record. Okay, that's, that was my second question, yeah. <laughs> but go ahead, Kevin, what is this? This is, uh, the reason I want to do this song, this song's, I don't know about you guys, but uh, you write a lot of songs, but there's always that one song that's really true to your heart. Like, it really comes from the heart, and uh, this, is, this is the first one that I ever wrote that really, really came straight from the heart. And uh, this is actually the title track. Um, of my second album, um, and the song did very well on radio in Canada at the time. And uh, it was actually an in interesting story because um, I had someone from Alberta uh, message me on Facebook, and um, she was, was battling with cancer, and she was having a real rough time with that. And she had messaged me and, and said that she wanted to thank me for releasing that song because it really uplifted her and and made her feel better about herself and, and stuff. I mean that. That right there is just a good reason in itself just to... Uh, that keeps us going. Yeah, absolutely, like absolutely. So, Anyways, this is a song that I wrote. It is the title track of my second album I released, and uh, it's called I Won't Fall. So many years gone by So many tears I've cried well, I'm still standing tall Of all the walls I face And the things I take I break through them all well, I don't need no well, I don't need to change it all All I want is peace of mind When my back's against the wall I know that I won't fall Yours, 
Nice. Thank you. Thanks for that, Kevin. Yeah. Tracy Naiman, I know you, um, you uh, run a studio, a music studio, a teaching studio as well. And I find that's really cool how you can kind of balance both things, the live music and the writing and the songwriting with, with a full-time music studio. Um, so how's that going? For, how does that work? You both teach. Yes. Yeah. We both teach. I teach um, voice and some piano. And Amy teaches piano mainly. Yep. We have other things, too, choir and art lessons and things like that. Um, it's a little small little art center. But um, I guess we're self-employed, right? So it's actually advantageous to, to write your own music and to do that on the, on the side because I can, we can both arrange our own schedule if we need time. And it kind of gives us a connection with the younger creative people in our area, too. So it's interesting to kind of mentor them and coach them as they come up through. We had our first uh, student songwriting contest in March, and we had probably, I think, eight or ten good entries for that. So, you know, you never know what will come of that in the long run. And I know when I finished my music training and I went back to Woodstock, being able to work with some of the people who had taught me was a really inspiring thing. So, yeah, we enjoy it. I found it's uh, really cool that your day job is also music Good. as well. Yeah, <laughs> really lucky. So uh, what do you got next for us? Um, we're going to play another new song, which is going to be on my new album, I hope. And it's called a Whiskey or Wine. And I guess it's about two swindlers who take advantage of each other. Let me sing you a story of two peas in a pod Of villains and lovers, users and frauds Of a boy and a girl caught in an old escapade Weaving a life thought they had their way paid You see, a small town roots turns into big city blues The moment their eyes met, the fire was aflame Wallets and trophies are one in the same she was a dancer in old vaudeville. He'd done time in Sing Sing. It gave her a thrill. Country strong meets determined city gone wrong. Will it be whiskey or wine or spirits divine to fill up the glass? 
glass to help the moment last jet setting and rambling all over the globe as long as there's cash and it's all Darkness had fallen, cloaked the street like a veil. The master plan ready, there's no way he could fail. It was a phone call from a telephone booth that brought the cops screaming, gunfire from the roof. No time to think, and now he's back in the clink. And the letter she wrote was tearful and sad. She didn't hold back, said she was feeling bad. I'm sorry you're doing 20 to life And that's when she really dug in the night I've met someone new and we're going away When I'll see you again I guess I can't say The feeling was true when the feeling was there But my new book, he's a millionaire Fantastic. That's a really cool song, and uh, you two really w work well together. You know? Most of the time, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have your moments. We are but... family, yeah. <laughs> cool. You know, when the life of a musician, you're, you're on the road at least as much as you're home, and uh, sometimes it doesn't matter, uh, you know, where you are. Uh, you could be on in the big city or in the mountains or seeing the ocean, but you just want to be home in your kitchen with, you know, that person that you, you care about the most. So I wrote this one about that. This is called Where You Are. I can never find a way to say goodbye Maybe I'm afraid of your reply I was never one to be so strong So tell me if I linger here too long Too long now Cause I have walked the crowded streets Let the ocean kiss my feet I have counted every star From the Rocky Mountain heart All the places I have seen On the highway of my dreams But none as beautiful as where you are I remember every single word you said Voice running circles in my head, yeah, yeah. You told me I was better than this town. Now I'm trying not to go and let you down, you down, down. Cause I have walked the crowded streets Let the ocean kiss my feet I have counted every star From the Rocky Mountain Hall All the places I have seen On the highway of my dreams But not as beautiful as where you are Not as beautiful as where you are
can never find a way to say hello Even when I'm standing at your door You know that I can never leave again So maybe I'm afraid you let me in Me in I have walked the crowded streets Let the ocean kiss my feet I have counted every star From the Rocky Mountain heart The places I have seen On the highway of my dreams But none as beautiful as where you are None as beautiful as where you are but it's beautiful Well, that's, that's it for this episode, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I want to thank uh, Tracy Anderson and her sister Amy, as well as Kevin Chase for being here and uh, making it such a great night. Um, and I want, I want to again thank uh, our host here at the Cocoa Room for providing, with, providing us with such a great venue and a uh, great sounding room being so generous. My name is Jared Lutz, and we'll see you next time on The Storytellers. Storytellers.